Is it recording? Uh, I believe so. I see a little red light flashing. Oh, okay. Um, yep. And yeah. the, the lady told me so when I came in. Oh, well, she did. Yes. She's very polite. I wonder if we can change her voice, like you can change the voice of your navigator on your uh, onboard navigation program. Co Corey can make his the Master Chief from Halo, and his vehicle on the map is the Warthog from Halo. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. His kids will never know how good he was at Halo. <laughs> They'll have to take people's word for it. Yeah. Um, good morning, all. I, I know that there are probably a few people here who are not used to the procedure, so we'll tell you how, how this works this morning. We're going to start our official webinar at 8.30. Uh, Growing from Seed is the overall webinar. Right now, we're making sure that people have their microphones and their cameras turned off. If your microphone is on, um, it will just get to where there's too much ambient noise, and most people don't really want us to hear them slurping coffee. So we're going to take a look at where the, can you click on the screen for me, Steve? Yeah. Thank you. Um, so we're going to look at where the um, uh, microphone controls are and the camera controls and your chat button and your raise your hand control. And maybe you want to close your chat or save the file. We're going to look at all those things right now. So at the bottom left, which may or may not be visible until you take the cursor down there, there's a little microphone and a little video camera. They should both be slashed. If they are slashed, your picture will not show. You'll just have a name or whatever you identify your computer as. Um, and that's the way that we kind of want it to be um, while we're doing this. And as long as your microphone is off, we won't hear your dog barking um, and the other kinds of things that are going on. Uh, we'd like, though, to hear from you. We'd like to hear questions from you. We'd like to know that if we say something that needs more explanation, that you have a chance to tell us about it. So um, we're going to show you your raise your hand control. If you open your participants menu, again, you might have to take your cursor down there and find it. When you open the participants menu, a bunch of names will pop to the uh, into a box. And in that box, Oops, they can't see that. Sure. in that box, um, I'm going to go back and forth here. Yeah. Um, in that. One more. I'm trying to go one more, but you, you can't can't move that. There okay. Go. okay. In that box, there's a raise your hand control. If it's not there, it's because it might be in reactions or at the bottom of your screen. But someplace there's a raise your hand control. If you click that control, you will pop to the top of that list. We'll see your little hand up. Uh oh, we'll see a hand up. Yes. And we'll be able to say, okay, you're next and, and tell you when you can turn your microphone on. And then we'll, then you need to click your microphone to turn it on. And we can talk a question, or you can chat a question. Um, dancing here. Um, the chat window, when it opens up, gives you a box that says to everyone. And you'll see that you can dial that box around. There's a little arrow. Don't dial it around unless you really know how to use this and want to talk to your buddy silently or privately. Keep it to everyone so that we can all see it. And the don't private chat us because we can't we can't possibly answer we're, we're, why this is going we're on really dull and slow at keeping up with yeah our, the chat our hands our do pictures. not type fast so if you go into the chat and type your question as soon as you hit return it will pop to the top everyone can see the question most especially sonia our daughter can see your question and she can line it up for one of the question sessions so go ahead and chat in your question whenever you think of it it won't bother mm -hmm. us while we're talking but it will be there when you think of it because if you're like us in about <laughs> 25 seconds you won't remember you what won't the question remember. was maybe even less than that um, and you can save the chat menu there's probably a dot dot you can save the chat if there's something you see in there that's valuable there's often valuable stuff in there as people answer each other's questions and and um and, and provide information yeah so, so um if you press the dot 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 or the more um, button you'll find to save your file there are some some types of computers that don't let you save it in which case you can email us and we'll send you a copy of we can send you the raw chat not an edited. Um, today's uh, guide is about six pages it's called Growing from Seed. It's an outline. And if you didn't download it already, it's under the webinars and tab on our website under audience materials or click. There it there is. is. Uh, in, the, in the chat window, if you open the chat window, there's a link right there that Sonia has put in. Um, she, and Sonia is pointing out that you can privately chat to her anytime 
She's <laughs> yeah, she can handle it. <laughs> she watches everything. I don't know. Um, I think you probably ought to be careful what you chat to somebody else because for all I know, Sonia can see that too. <laughs> um, she's amazing. So what questions do you have? Is anything going on this week that you're wondering about? This is a uh, drawing that one of our young friends did for us about seed. We have one if you don't have it. I love your uh, your picture, your profile picture there, Sonia. That is a beautiful, isn't it a bean seedling? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They're gorgeous. Although, people. especially with our furnace being dodgy right now, we are not thinking about seed starting yet. Uh, it is not conditioned quite, uh, quite ready uh, this year. So that's from previous year. The furnace has not stayed steady since you said uh, it. It still has. There's some moments that are making us uh, concerned. So we're, we're, we're taking it easy. What are you going to be starting from seed this year? All your veggies or you got any uh, perennials and flowers going to? Probably just veggies. Uh, we found that the, uh, the annuals that we put into pots, um, they do fine just starting them in the pots outside if we can keep the squirrels out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, there did used to be squirrels in your yard. <laughs> um, we did have a question from Janet who uh, sent us this picture because a while ago she said something like scraped this log that I have on my patio and, and what could have done that. Um, I'm glad that you sent a closer up picture of it, which we took a little piece of and enlarged a bit. Um, it, it looks to us like um, your log is rotting, which is what they have to do. I mean, it's a good thing that wood does rot, or we would all, yes. we would all be buried in in uh, organic debris. Right, if just... you look closely at that streak of of uh, yellowish brown there, look at the edge of it and compare that to this chicken fungus, which yes. is much larger. This is a big fungus erupting from a log in the woods. But can you see the see the same ripple effect there? It's just a tiny. Uh, it's a different type of fungus. fungi. Yeah, but it's kind of cool looking. There, um, and it probably hold paint really well. <laughs> there's an incredible amount of fungi out there. Yeah, yeah, there, incredible. There are a couple of books that we have. One is uh, Algaes and Lichens of Michigan, Mosses of Michigan, um, and uh, and if you go to moles, it's it, it, it's a huge, it's an enormous family of of uh, organisms that are out there working for us. But if anybody else has any questions, um, we're talking about seeds, but we're talking about anything that goes up here. This is uh, us throwing maple seeds on my son and daughter-in-law when they got married. I, I can't tell you how much fun. Look at the faces back there. They're, what they're having fun doing is throwing maples and showing their technique for making maple seeds helicopter down. Uh, and we tested every one of yes, those to indeed, make sure did. they helicoptered. Yeah, we did. We wanted to make sure they all worked. We could yeah. be obsessive sometimes. And our, our son and daughter-in-law did not know we were going to do that. That's kind of their delight on their faces there. No questions. Wow. Kind of yeah, fun. yeah. Um, oh, I've got Gretchen says for a future gathering, show what gypsy moths look like and uh, as they lay their eggs and the remains, uh, keeping an eye out for, for gypsy moths. That's a good idea because yeah. right now is when you'd want to find and scrape off all of those gypsy moth egg cases and throw them on the ground and let the let the birds eat them Boy, easily. Yeah. Don't I wish I Thank could you, do. Gretchen. We'll do that for us. Can we? Find a picture of gypsy moth. Not that fast. Are you kidding me? Yeah, <laughs> me? Well, yeah. Actually, we can't. On, do it on right the net, we could do it faster on the net than I could find one. Yeah, but we I were like we were up north last summer, uh, wandering around and fishing various parts of what were we on the Asabo? No. Anyway, we were further north. Oh, we found some terrible infestations of gypsy moth. It was like almost icky to to look at the tree trunk. There were so many yeah. little big cases on it. So thank you, Gretchen. Oh, yeah. And Pat is pointing out too that we're working on new names for uh, for these terrible moths because Gypsy is not we're not supposed to be using it too much. Um, and Pat's curious if we've heard of any new names for them. She says spongy moth. <laughs> spongy moth might would probably work. I uh, do remember hearing about that a little while ago. Um, felt it's spot it, it's so maybe hard to we'll, change something like that. Maybe maybe we'll start well, but. Hard is we, we have to learn. To start doing. Um, maybe maybe we'll start using the botanical, the scientific name, which I have to think about oh. what it is, because <laughs> there's probably some anagram of the scientific name that could we be could fun use. To. Yeah. yeah, we'll look. We'll, we'll yeah. check that too. So, um, so yeah, indeed, um, uh, 
I just found a CNN article that confirms what uh, what Pat was saying is uh, that um, spongy moth is, uh, according to the Entomological Society of America, is is working on it. Um, and it is it is particularly uh, yeah that it, it, it's a bad bug for us. So we should yeah. probably think about not using a name that uh, gets. Uh, how, about, how about white ermine moth? That Ooh. female, the female with those beautiful, I mean, she is gorgeous. She is a pretty moth with those white velvet. Oh, she is pretty. Yeah, she big, pretty. big, wide, feathery antennae. Um, yeah. Well, but of course, we aren't going to get to say that. It's no. going to be, there's going to be some entomologist someplace. And the entomologist who's not in the room is going to get it named for him or her. <laughs> I, wouldn't that be awful to have a bacteria or a terrible looking bug no, named after you? You'd be remembered. <laughs> okay. All right. I, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, just, uh, I, oh, no, there it was. I was going to say Rose had her uh, mic on for a second, just in case she had a question. Um, that This is the, the point when we do welcome people to turn on their mics to ask questions if you, if you like. Yeah. Um, is there another question? Yeah. Yep. No. There's a Oh. Uh, RK Michigan, what tasks are on the gardening agenda for the Waterford Library this week? Uh, this week we are <coughs> pruning, we're doing dormant pruning. We have a uh, Carlesii, a Korean spice viburnum to prune, a two arborvitaes to prune, uh, dwarf ones that we need to keep dwarf, uh, a beauty bush, uh, beauty berry to prune, and a I forgot this is there. A ginkgo. We're trying to keep <laughs> trying, trying to keep, keep a, a dwarf ginkgo, ginkgo dwarf. dwarf. Um, and we've got two crab apples to prune. So pruning is first on the list. We do have some perennials that need to be cut down, but they're, we're, it's dicey there because I am going to be spending my time going, get your foot off that bed, get your foot off that bed, get your foot off that bed, um, because it's not not time to walk on the, on the uh, soil. soil, or at least that it, unless something really changes Wednesday, by Wednesday, it's not time to walk on the soil yet. Uh, and then we have a, a talk after we get done with our work outdoors and packing up all our branches and whatever. We do have some ewes to prune too, if we can get around to those ewes. Mm -hmm. We only got about half of the ewes pruned last time. Um, and we are there also keeping them small and trying to make them look natural. And that's been a process of bringing them back from looking like somebody has cubed them for years uh, into. Um, so after we get done cleaning things up, we will go inside. We have a talk about um, growing native plants for the sake of wildlife. Um, and I've forgotten the name of the person. Okay. Yeah. Um, and speaking of uh, talks, Karen saying that your webinar with the Oakland County Master Gardeners on March 8th, will that be open to everyone or is that just for the MCs, MGs? Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what their their um, number of people that they can allow on their on their network is. I know that they like to open things up for everybody. I will on the eighth. So is there time? No, it's not time for me to check. If you're interested, just send me an email and I'll make sure that I send you an email about how to get onto it. Um, but that's all I can tell you is that I, I, I can check for you. Great. Um, and then uh, Stacy says, what do you think of Canadian red choke cherry tree? I understand it's a nice shade tree, fast growing with persistent fruit. Any thoughts? Persistent <laughs> fruit. Um, okay, um, common names can do this. Uh, I, yeah, choke I, cherry, I, I only think of aromias. Yeah, um, um, I, yeah I don't, there is a- I don't know a Canadian. There is a tree called the choke cherry and I, I have never noticed persistent fruit on it. In fact, I've never noticed the fruit on it. You can see the flowers, but the fruit is, it, it obviously has fruit because it falls all over the place and, and pops up in gardens. Um, it is a fast growing tree. It is a native tree. It's got a lot of benefits that way. If it's chokeberry, which is a shrub, kind of a large burning bush size shrub, it's a very nice shrub, mm -hmm. beautiful fall color. And it has fruit that lasts for a while in the winter, in, into the winter. But otherwise, I, I don't know. We have, I'd have to know which kind of tree it, it is, um, botanically speaking. And uh, okay. we can probably get started with. You know. We are we're at eight thirty. And Michelle, I do see your hand. My apologies. If you want to uh, send it in the chat, I'll log your question for uh, a Q and A. Okay. Thanks, everyone. 